big 6-0. This morning we celebrate a milestone, 60 years of today. Good morning. 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 From the events that pulled us together to the stories that ripped us apart, from the tragic to the triumphant, we've been with you through it all. We'll toast six eventful decades with the people you shared them with today, Friday, January 13th, 2012. From NBC News, this is a special edition of Today at 60 with Matt Lauer and Ann Curry. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And good morning, everyone, and welcome to a very special edition of today on this Friday morning. That is New York State's Empire, or New York City's Empire State Building, lit up, as you can see in the Today Show, colors of red, orange, and yellow. It's a spectacular way to kick off a really big morning for us here as we celebrate 60 years on the air. I'm Matt Lauer. And I'm Ann Curry. Good morning, everybody. And you know, this is the first time in history, by the way, that the Empire State Building has been illuminated to honor a television program. So how cool is that, Matt? Yeah, as someone who grew up in New York, this is a real big deal. And boy, after the week we've had celebrating, I feel 60. It's <laughs> <laughs> been a busy week. Exactly and, right. and we've got a lot more in store, as a matter of fact. Take a look at some other great tributes to the north, the natural wonder of Niagara Falls, glowing with our colors as well this morning. Out on the Las Vegas Strip, the Bellagio Hotel is as well. That's amazing. And also down in the city of Brotherly Love, they're showing a lot of love for today. Today, the Sierra Center in Philadelphia is getting all decked out for the occasion. So we're excited about that. And also, hooray for Hollywood. The Goodyear blimp flew over the famed Hollywood sign in Los Angeles with a happy birthday message for us. So we want to thank everyone who's been so kind to us. We really do. Their good wishes. We're going to celebrate all morning long, 60 years of today, and take a look at who's here to help us out. All of your favorite anchors and personalities from the past six decades. We saw Barbara Walters there and Hugh Downs and Jane Pauley and Katie is back and Meredith's back and there's Jim Hartz. And we've got, the, I think Jim Bell put it well, Deborah Norba put it well last night. This is like Mount Rushmore of broadcasting. Exactly. I would say we have more anchors than the Sixth Fleet this morning, <laughs> and uh, we're happy about that. And look, there's Willard waving at us. So anyway, we have Tom a lot Brokaw to get to. Brown. It's a big morning ahead. But we want to begin, of course, with what we normally begin with every morning, and that is the news. We Apparently, somehow the word got out that we're having our sixth anniversary because there's a huge crowd outside. Yeah, and there's a big crowd inside as well, having some fun downstairs <laughs> on our lower level. We've got a photo booth set up where we're getting some groups together and letting them take pictures. That's a pretty good group right there. How about that? We need to get in on that. Yeah. I know that there's Brian. Oh, my goodness. How many can fit in that photo booth? <laughs> Any good party has a photo booth. We've got a spanking tunnel. We've got all <laughs> kinds of things lined up for this morning. We've got, it's going to be a lot of fun, you guys. And that's all just party. Said. I can't, you know, we're, oh, how excited are oh, we? Oh, shots pictures. already. Oh. Oh. You know what's yeah. in that mug? <laughs> More after a look. Let's go do something. My favorite game Dad and I would play was Oxymoron Wars. Deafening silence. Seriously funny. Clearly confused. Dad said, sometimes we have to face our fears. Do not take Dulera more than prescribed. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve or gets worse. Ask your doctor if Dulera can help you breathe easier. Back now at 808 with more of our special Today at 60 celebration. You know, during the past six decades, we have been with you through national tragedies and international celebrations. That's right. And in just a moment, we will talk with them uh, about them with our former anchors. But first, now a look back at the joy and sorrow witnessed here on Today since 1952. It's the latest straight like no other television show. Good tries not only to fill in the world on the news every morning, but to be kind of a friend in the house. Well, here we are. Good morning to you. The very first good morning of what I hope. And uh, I had the pleasure of sharing this desk with these two. Hmm. 
Kitsy, kitsy. I think we're engaged. I don't know what that but I shared it with a lot of wonderful people, and I also had the great fortune of being with three wonderful couples. And I was one of them. Hi, everybody. I'm Deborah Norville, and the 1990s started with Bryant and me right here on the Today Show. It was an amazing time to be doing morning news, but I left in 1991 when I had my first child, and every time when I tuned into the show, yeah, I watched the segments, I'm interested in the interviews, but I really love to hear Mark Traub, our stage manager's laugh, and I listen for you every day, buddy. Point well taken. You know, I spent I spent 15 years here interviewing everyone from presidents to pop stars, but that's not what I miss the most. Um, I actually miss the guys in the crew: Mark Ropes, uh, D, Bellis, Jimmy Straka, all the guys. It's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Most. They actually let you in the building? Yeah. Oh, but it's a temporary ID and it expires in 15 minutes. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I joined the circus in 2006. I left last summer and I just thought the show had been canceled. <laughs> and we're all still here. We're all still here. Okay, so here is a look at the rest of the on, team. There's Natalie and Hoda and Savannah and Kathy Come Lee. Here. And here. as we widen up, take a look at all of the hosts of this show over the last 60 years. We have all loved being a part of your lives, and we're just now getting started as we look at everyone, and we're just, we've got some things coming up. We're going to sit down and talk with these folks, oh, and that God. could be perilous. <laughs> <laughs> right after In five minutes. <laughs> Way to go, guys. is killing me. I'll tell you this. Start, Barbara, what was different about your time at today? Uh, just before we start, Tom and I have a question of you, uh, Tom. Well, we want to know whether we're getting paid after a minimum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's extremely <laughs> minimum, by the way. <laughs> the <laughs> answer is stage. no, we're not, and that has not changed. <laughs> so what was your question? What was different about your time here? I get that a lot, actually. What, what was different about your time here as compared to other things you've done in your career? Well, I think this was was um, what launched me. I think, and and um, I said earlier, I'm very proud of the fact that after during my time and after every woman on the show was considered a co-host. I think it's a different, uh, very different atmosphere, and I'm very what proud. We all feel very choked up uh, seeing each other, but essentially, the program has remained the same, and that is, you get up to find out is the world still there, is everything okay, and we are the people in it. It is our responsibility. Um, you know, uh, we're the people you trust. Matter. Start, Barbara. What was different about your time at today? Uh, just before we start, Tom and I have a question of you, uh, Tom. Well, we want to know whether we're getting paid after a minimum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's extremely <laughs> minimum, by the way. <laughs> the <laughs> answer is no, we're not, and that has not changed. <laughs> so, what was your question? What was different about your time here? I get that a lot, actually. What, what was different about your time here as compared to other things you've done in your career? Well, I think this was was um, what launched me. I think, and and um, I said earlier, I'm very proud of the fact that after during my time and after every woman on the show was considered a co-host. I think it's a different, uh, very different atmosphere, and I'm very what proud. We all feel very choked up uh, seeing each other, but essentially, the program has remained the same. And that is, you get up to find out is the world still there? Is everything okay? And we are the people in it. Is is our responsibility. Um, you know, uh, we're the people you trust. Matter. Their daily routines by the routine that we set here on the Today Show. At 7.07, .07, when that first interview was beginning, if they haven't gotten the kids up for bed, they're going to be late for school. At 7.21, <laughs> when local news happens, if you don't have your makeup on, you're behind. And that becomes ingrained in people's daily lives. When, when Pat Weaver first came up with this idea, somebody said, are you nuts? Nobody's going to tune the television set on at 7 in the morning. He said, no, they won't if you don't put a program on. <laughs> 
like the thing that I set the, the, the tone for. Where in the world is Matt Lauer? Oh, <laughs> hey now. In 1975 and 76, I went to every state in the union for the Bicentennial Series. We did a live show every Friday morning. And what that gave me, I think, was a real uh, feeling for the people. Sometimes we can get stuck in New York City and you forget that the rest of the country is out there west of the Hudson River. And so I think that that's the sort of thing that has always kept this place in touch with the country. Uncharacteristically quiet in the back row yeah. over there. <laughs> 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 you know what, one of the things I'm proudest of, Matt and Ann, about my participation is is not only the people on camera, but behind the scenes. We have some of the best producers and bookers. I remember, And we could cover these stories at breakneck speed. I remember being at a Broadway matinee, and Jeff Zucker, who was our executive producer, called me and said, you need to go to Littleton, Colorado, and cover this shooting at Columbine High School. Just barely 12 hours later, or maybe 18 hours later, I was sitting with Michael Scholes, who had lost his son, Isaiah, and also Craig Scott, who had lost his sister, Rachel Scott, in the pitch dark, freezing Colorado morning. The snow was falling in the background, and it was so immediate and so raw, and it was so profound to actually see these two people coming together in their grief, and I was so proud. Not, I was really just the conduit for the interview, but that we were able to these people to share their stories so immediately after their losses. And I think that when so many people in America were watching that, they felt a coming together. So it was a really important moment. So as you think about it, go ahead, Mary. No, I was going to say the moment when I realized how important the show is to, to everybody out there was Virginia Tech. Yeah. And uh, we, we had been to a candlelight vigil during the evening and one of the students came up to me and he said, can I just get a hug? And in, in that moment, because he's so connected with us as family, and his mom and dad were not there, and he was so sad because of what had happened, that I was sort of a surrogate mom, or this show was a surrogate mom for him, and that, that hit me. Family. Yeah, yeah, member of his family. Mr. You know, about more ways than one, I'm kind of the oddball here, in that um, when I first came I'll aboard... I'll second that. <laughs> <laughs> when I first came to the program, I had never been a regular viewer of morning television. I mean, I think as most people know, I was coming from the world of sports. Hey, you got up at noon. I got up at noon. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and people know I was coming from the world of sports. Hey, you got up at noon. I got up at noon. And, 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 still does. <laughs> and as Tom and Jane can tell you, there was a, there was a bit of resentment that a guy from the sports world was coming over to sit in the hallowed chair that Tom had occupied. And and I'd be lying if I said it was a, it was a wonderful transition. But I remember when it struck me, we went to the Soviet Union, which we now take for granted that programs come from from Russia, but back then that that hadn't happened, and and it also uh, was the first time that they'd seen somebody who had always been talking to linebackers and quarterbacks um, talking with the heads of the Kremlin, and and it was a breakthrough time, and that was when it kind of first dawned on me that maybe this job is something special. Mm. I, I have you know, made. We did the first satellite broadcast all that time ago, uh, the first of a regularly a scheduled, scheduled program. program yes, yes. I was in France, you were at Buckingham Palace. Yes. We said, cue the Pope. He came in on time. <laughs> because this is a show that's always traveled. It's a family show, it's a new show, and it's a show that shows you the world. Mm. I, I made no uh, secret of the fact, of the fact that uh, I watched that man there, Bryant Gumbel and Tom and everybody else, very carefully before I ever had this job. Who did you all, of the hosts that are here, who did you spend the most time watching? Frank McGee. Did you? Oh, yeah. Really? yeah. Well, he was on right before I was, and he was an old friend of mine from Oklahoma. And uh, so he was, you know. I grew up with Dave Garraway. It was a revelation. I lived in such a remote part of the country that we didn't get television until 1955. And for <laughs> that to come into our living room, I was going off to school, my mother to work, and we would sit and watch Dave Garraway, who was a maestro at what he was able to do. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah and to do it in the, in the way that he did. And it elevated everybody in the country, especially in the heartland, because you got to visit cultural sites and go to Washington, D.C. on a daily basis over the breakfast table. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that that's when we all began to think in our own way, gee, that's a world I'd like to be a part of someday. And I used to watch Jane, you know, as I said, and I would model my hairstyles after Jane. <laughs>
you know, as I said, and I would model my hairstyles after Jane. <laughs> but no, she was in many ways my Mary Tyler Moore. She was such a role model for me because, and Barbara, of course, who paved the way for all of us. But, you know, we, we saw possibilities for women in not only in television, but just in the working world through these women. Exactly. I don't know that us. any of us watched and ever imagined, you know, watching Jane or watching Bryant and Tom and thought one day I could be sitting there. One day I would have that job. I, I don't think any of us would have dared been so Actually, Tom, Tom and I were together to, at local to news. Tom and I were together at local news in L.A. back in, I did 19, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, and, and really, I mean, if you would have asked us back then, could both of us wind up sitting here, we would probably the odds were enormous. And I watched Captain mm -hmm. Kangaroo. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Hugh, you didn't weigh in on this. Who were you watching, sir? Well, uh, Garraway, of course, with, with whom I'd worked in Chicago a lot in radio, and then, and then a little bit of television there, and then he moved to New York to do, in, with whom I'd worked in Chicago a lot in radio, and then, and then a little bit of television there, and then he moved to New York to do in 52. Uh, so I, I watched him, and I, I admired his uh, approach was so easygoing and so ad-lib, literally, that uh, it was a little bit new then, because a lot of people had, a lot of people that I knew in television at the time had what they would call an air personality. The audience never falls for that. You've got to be yourself or you know, yeah. you're dead. So I, I, Garraway was a model. Well, uh, you're not going anywhere. We have not released you yet. We've got more work ahead for you. We're going to talk about some of the fun that we have all had, specifically you folks, over the last 60 years. But first, let's take a look at these messages. Don't miss Steven Spielberg classic. Roger Ebert calls it magnificent, joyous, and uplifting. A genuine movie masterpiece. And it's a... <laughs> but we've got some others, and we're going to share those with you and talk to our former anchors about those a little later on. That's someone right? That's right. Then, of course, we're going to be talking with them about what they miss most about today. Hmm. And then we have a lot more surprises in store for you ahead as well coming up. All right. But first, it's going to check of the weather, and it's blowy, it's blustery, it's very cold for those people on that ice. Absolutely. Yes. Let's look at your Martin Luther King Day Jr. weather weekend. Showers in the Pacific Northwest. We've got some mountain snows there. The lake effects snow, the eastern Great Lakes, frigid around the Great Lakes, sunny and cool. Sunday, it's going to be sunny and cool. Showers down through Texas. Wet weather in the Pacific Northwest, frigid in New England. Then on Monday, that cold weather stays there. We've got rain from Ohio all the way down into the lower Mississippi River Valley. Some showers in the Pacific Northwest and mountain snows through the Rockies. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Good morning to you. Well, it's not a spare the air day, but we've got plenty of haze over the city of San Jose. Above that haze, though, beautiful clear sky, and that's what we're And fits our budget perfectly. So there's a brand new room right where the old one used to be. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. New Glidden Duo Paint Plus Primer. Only at the Home Depot and starting at only $24.97 a gallon. Some of the Today Show staffers in the background there, getting in the spirit of 1952 as we welcome you back to this special edition of Today. We're celebrating 60 years on the air. We pride ourselves in delivering the most important stories of the day, but you know what? We also like to have a no little fun. No kidding. It's something that's been constant here on Today right from the start. I love this Ergo movable base. For me, it's three years interest free finance. And free same day delivery. Ask the number one mattress store in the West about the most highly recommended bed in America. Sleep Train is your ticket to Tempur Pedic. Sleep Train, your ticket to a better night's sleep. Back now at 844, more of our 
coverage of today at 60 as we catch up with our favorite anchors and yours as well. Morning again, everybody. We just saw the fun moments, all right? The, you know, where, where one day you're interviewing a president, the next day you're flying on a wire like Peter Pan across the, uh, the plaza. But Jim, you were saying to me early on, you didn't have as much fun when you were doing the show. So when do we think that all shifted, that we were allowed to do that? I don't that? know. I was thinking, looking around the studios. One, one morning back in the 70s, we used to get a lot of bomb threats. And occasionally they'd bring a dog in who would sniff all around the place, you know, and they'd walk out. One morning, Bar morning, Barbara and I were sitting there about a minute before 7, and the dog came in, and she was reading a paper or something. She said, what's going on? I said, well, there's been a bomb threat. She said, what time is it supposed to go off? And I said, well... <laughs> <laughs> Seven o'clock, and judging from the list today, it's going to last till about nine. <laughs> Can I something that we all go through, even today? Okay, because this show is live, and there are certain times when you have to go to a station break or a commercial, and you've got to shut the guest up, right? How do you do it? So I used to say, well, what I will do is when I touch your leg, okay, Tom? Uh, <laughs> when I touch it, you have to see if Don't the ever take your hand off. My <laughs> when I touch your, your leg, you'll know that it's time to wrap it up. And I won't tell you who the guest is, but I said, when I touch your leg, he said, what are you doing writing up my pants? <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite guest that we had on in terms of the spontaneity of all, Alan Arkin, was a very reserved actor and he came in. That's okay, for a starter. And um, I realized I've got to get back out there in like a couple of minutes and this guy comes in, he's going to be on in the 8 o'clock hour. And I'm listening and he's looking in the mirror and he goes, well, Mr. Gumble, I believe. And he stopped me and he goes, Mr. Gumble, I believe. <laughs> Well, Mr. Gumble, he's rehearsing. <laughs> and I'm thinking, if I walk out of this stall, this guy's never coming on. <laughs> he's never going to make it. So I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. I can't make my presence known. Finally, the guy leaves, and I hustle out. I barely made it back to the set. Jim Strake is like, where have you been? I'm like, you don't want to hear from <laughs> Sure enough, 15 minutes later, I well, ask Mr. the guy the first question. He goes, well, Mr. Gumble, I almost laughed in his face. <laughs> were always things. You never knew what was going to happen with the animals. And Jim Fowler would come and bring the things and they'd be on your head. They'd be taking your jewelry off. They'd go down your shirt. They'd go down your shirt. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> had as his instead of the today girl he had a chimpanzee remember everybody yeah, Jay of course Jay 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 Musk, Jay and Jay big Jay star. Jay. Yeah. yeah instead of the today girl he had a chimpanzee remember everybody yeah, Jay Jay of course Jay 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 Musk, Jay and Jay big Jay. star. yeah you know what whatever i'm asked what's the weirdest thing that happened to me on, on today uh, this pops into my mind because it really is a weird story but we needed we were the florida, florida showcase we needed a piano for an upcoming uh, musical one of the first musical thing features that we had and we had ordered the piano and the piano arrived and now we were in two guys came in they had a bill of lading and everything and we signed stuff and everything and the guy said okay when you bring your piano in you put it over right there the, near the window and the guy said okay and he said bring it in and the other guy said you bring it in. He said, he said, I don't have it. He said, oh, I thought you had it. They lost the piano. <laughs> hey, what is it that you guys miss the most? What's Not it? the hours. What, what do you miss about doing you know, the I, show? Let's say something about the hours if I can. Because we all get asked, what are the hours like? It must be terrible. And when I was leaving, and I passed this along to Meredith, we talked about it. When I was leaving the Today Show, I got a letter, a handwritten letter from a woman in Pennsylvania. that said, Ms. Broca, I... Uh, in Pennsylvania said, Ms. Broca, I, uh, I would just want to share a story with you. I work in a commercial laundry, in a hotel laundry, from 11 o'clock at night until 6 o'clock in the morning, and I get home in time, just in time to get my children fed for breakfast and office school, and the only hour I have to myself is with you and Jane from 7 to 8. That's my those are my hours. I don't get paid nearly as well as you do, and I hope you think about that. And I pass that along to everybody afterwards yeah, saying, yeah. not complaining about the hours anymore. What I liked best about it was, and it came to me a little bit later, was that you got up and the most important thing you were going to do all day long came right away. Right away. And I like the variety. I came from a very hard news background, but I got to know authors and Broadway stars and people who I never otherwise would have met. And many of them remain my friends. You get to make mistakes. Yeah. We, were, we were often uh, complimented for our authenticity because we were so clueless to forget to put our microphones on or forget <laughs> the name of the guest we were uh, talking to. One morning I must have made a reference around Thanksgiving to um, uh, the, 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 all the fixings, including the turkey droppings. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> there is a family somewhere in America where it's not Thanksgiving until someone says pass the turkey drop. <laughs> Why don't you weigh in here? Because you haven't had anything to say. What's that? Why don't you weigh in? You haven't said a word. Did what, what you, to your what sister? You <laughs> 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 and you are the connector to the show. Why. That is why you're still on the show. I was sitting here thinking, why didn't I take that contract at CBS? <laughs> no, I think one of the funniest things really was a letter I got one time, and this has gotten to be kind of well known. And the letter from the lady says, I won't go to bed every night with Johnny Carson, and I wake up with Tom Brokaw, which I thought, she's got bigger laughs than that. <laughs> now, the, one of the fun, cute things happened. I used to wear a hairpiece, some of you may remember. That was really? a hairpiece. That was a hairpiece. Yeah. Yeah. Not a hairpiece. Yeah. Yeah. Not herpes. Oh. <laughs> that thing used to be laying on the makeup counter, and it was so scary because, you know, it's 4 o'clock in the morning, you're sort of bleary-eyed, and there's Willard's hair, and you first want to, like, <laughs> whack it with a newspaper and put it out of its misery. Speaking of hair like pieces, of those, yeah. can I just put up a picture here and ask a real quick, quick question? Oh. Barbara? Oh. What was with the <laughs> kerchief? Oh, I don't know. Isn't well, she was trying in the help. <laughs> <laughs> And one of the morning shows, you meet everyone, you you right. have an education. I think it's the best job on television. You have a lot of yep. creative license, you know. I mean, imagine me asking if I could get a colonoscopy on the Today yeah. Show. Yeah, and good. I had two asking if I could get a colonoscopy on the yeah. Today yeah, Show. And good. I had two, a mammogram, but I did draw the line at the pap smear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you also missed the time cue over there, which yeah, is pretty normal. Yeah. <laughs> we have to take a break. More of our walk down memory lane in a moment, but first, this is today on NBC. It's a new day. It's been a long time waiting. Waiting for this moment. It's been a long time. You think you're the only guy with a gun? Now in theaters. Say goodbye to your wife. Mark Wahlberg takes you into the world of contraband. We're going to war. Contraband. Rated R. What you looking for, hon? Oh, these new jeans I want. I've been looking everywhere. New blue jeans? Oh, don't be crazy. I got tons of blue jeans. Frank! Frank! Get my jean bin! Susie wants my jeans! No, she doesn't. <laughs> Here we go. Nice. Welcome back to today at 60 Our Celebration. As you can see, our group has grown considerably because we're now joined by some of our former news anchors, John Palmer, Faith Daniels, and Margaret Larson. Good morning. And by the way, some of the first women of today are here as well. The Today Girls, Florence Henderson, Lee Merriweather, Robin Bain, Beryl Pfizer, and Estelle Parsons. It is great to have you all here. This is an historic group. This really is. It's wonderful to have you all in one place. And so, you know we love to do toasts. We love to eat here on today. So we have a little cake to celebrate our 60th oh, oh my, we have fire, actually. Come on in. We have a special guest oh bringing wow. the cake in. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. Who's that? I'm not going to be Jay Fred. It's a generic it. public domain <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a big surprise. Mer a big surprise. Meredith Vieira is going to pop up <laughs> and hit it. Oh, there she is. Tom, it's so great to have you here. You know, Tom, by the way, has been on this broadcast 22 times. We went back wow. and counted them. You're going to get it so right we sooner or later. Yeah, we, we wouldn't be here without you. Uh, uh, the only reason I pushed out the cake was the trainer did not have enough time with J. Fred Muggs. <laughs> <laughs> nice of you to do this. Tom. When you look around the group here, you must see a lot of people who uh, you've had some. Uh, I, when I had the measles, I stayed home and watched you all. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, let, it, let us do this. When you were a baby. Well, well yeah. let us just say this, that um, here on this show every morning, of course, we wake up and we put a show on the air for our viewers, most important people. We try to uphold their standards, but I want all of you to know that all of us here each morning who now occupy these seats, we think of you all every morning, and we try to pay tribute to the hard work you've put in over the years, and we try to honor your legacy. So thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank and you. congratulations. Yeah. 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 Wait, here. Yeah. Here. Yes. Oh, no, get Cheers. one more. No, here. Yeah. here. You can share it. Oh, I'm only here for this. Oh, I'm watching. Thanks, Greg. Yeah. 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 You're back. Happy birthday, everyone. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you for your legacy. We're going to have more today ahead on a Friday morning, right after these messages in your local news. Eat the cake! A Night of Betty White, Monday, 8, 7 Central on NBC. This is Today in the Bay. Good morning to you. It's 8.56 right now. I'm Laura Garcia Cannon. A high school math teacher accused of having sex with a student will make her first court appearance this morning. Marie Johnson, a teacher at Granada High School in Livermore, is charged with 24 counts of sexual assault. Prosecutors say Johnson had a six-month-long sexual relationship with a student under the... There is Brian gives Justin Bieber a run for his money. Take a look. Brian and Emily got hitched last week in Orange Park, Florida. And as I toss, let's see if I can bring all my fellow past news anchors. Hello. We have John Palmer, Margaret Larson. We have Deborah Norville and Faith Daniels, yes, who yes. all at one point shared this news desk as well. Maybe not this news desk. Not Another news desk. We sat down rather than standing. Yeah, we had a chair. Yeah, Times are tough. They don't give you a chair? It, well, you know, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, this is pretty good. We stand for the news now, as Anne likes to <laughs> Excellent. say. Excellent. And we, as we take a stroll down memory lane, let, let's, uh, well, I guess we're going we're gonna to continue talking here in just a moment. But for now, I'm going to turn it back over to you guys. Hey, you guys. There. All right. We're coming in for a hug in just a yes, second. Yes, you're coming in for a hug. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. You used to be at that desk, too. I know. We should go over there and hang out over there. We should walk over there. We time, though. Should we uh, get a check of the weather? Yeah, I, want to know. Yeah. I think so. Let's show you what's happening. First of all, we're talking about a lot of stuff. just want to say I would not be here doing this show if it was not for this man, oh. Willard Scott. Oh. I love you. I love you. Well, that's because I drove you here in my Cadillac. This <laughs> <morning>. <laughs> You all are wonderful. It's what an experience. What a great trip. What a great show. God bless all of us. For us to have you here thank as well. You. Good health and happiness. Yeah, Natalie? All right. Thank you. Well, we're going to take a little stroll down memory lane, what it was like here at the news desk, different news desk. Margaret, when you were here, it, I understand it wasn't as comfortable for you at one point when you were pregnant, seven months pregnant or so? No. I was actually on my last day before oh, wow. maternity leave having Braxton Hicks contraction. I was here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was subbing for Katie on the show. Bryant got very ill that morning just shortly before the show and I had to do the show there I am oh my. I, I look like I'm, I'm terrified because my blood pressure had gone through the roof I had not prepared for his segments I'm by myself I'm just about to have a baby and I swear Al Roker never left my side because we thought was he was nice. going to deliver the baby for you honestly lots of people have been he was going to deliver the baby for you lots of people have been pregnant on the Today Show but we thought I was going to be the one who delivered on the Today but, Show because but of you that you carried the show that morning. I mean, I remember uh, Jeff Zucker coming in and kind of, are you okay? Are you all right? And I remember you were just quietly, oh. graciously calm, and you did it. And Honey speaking girl, of, you say I'm not here. I'm not here. And you didn't have the baby on air, which is no. a good thing. I made it to the hospital. <laughs> speaking of carrying the show, John, you, of course, uh, when everybody else was traveling, they, you know, would go off on these fabulous locations. Somebody oh, had they to went stay to back Rio. and they went hold down the floor. Right. They went right anywhere and anywhere. All of those places. All of those I places. always <laughs> stayed home. But once the satellite shot did go down, yes, and in Rio, the about, network was depending on you. And I did a little song and dance. I read a lot of news. For 20 and, minutes, uh, right? It went on, yeah, it went on for a long time. It long, but I was invited once to go uh, with the Today Show cast. That was the USS Norway, oh. which had gone down the East Coast. And their last stop was Miami. And I flew down after the show on a Thursday and Look was there. You. Look at on that. Friday. You deserve I, I that. Was
show on a Thursday and Look was there. Look at on that. Friday. You deserve I, I was that. scuba you diving. Uh, you at least they didn't have the cocktail. I tell you. <laughs> I've never seen this. Is rare. My <laughs> goodness gracious. At least I, I wasn't in the rubber suit floating and floppy on top of the water as I was there you later. Go. And, and Faith, of course, you know, pull side aside, there were a lot of serious and, and tough times here at the news desk as well. And your tenure yes. here coincided with the first Gulf War. I know. I know. It was an incredible time. I and mean, we were just on the, on the air nonstop for three or four days. And then, you know, I was backing up Tom Brokaw in case he ever had to go to the bathroom, which he never did. <laughs> That's something about Tom. You know? yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing bladder. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And that was and one of the great things come about come working by. the early shift here, because many of us were also on Sunrise or the Cockadoodle News, as you mm -hmm. referred to. Yes. <laughs> Me too. And one of the oh, things yes. about yeah, that Sam, was I did early oftentimes yeah. you were the only guy or gal here. And so when something blew up, you got the call, there was a network right. bulletin, right. and you got to, to hold it down. And it was such a joy to get to be the one sharing the information with America. So, And it was such a joy to get to be the one sharing the information with America. So, you know, the news anchor job was one of those where you never knew what was going to happen, but you yeah. always had to be ready for yeah. it. I remember, we'll talk your, I remember about your sewing segments. You did a great job with those sewing segments. Remember a, those as a, I'm as the as only person features. who has ever gotten sewing on the Today I Show. I know! And you did such a great job with it. We'll talk about a legacy here on the show. And I think, John, you leave perhaps... What is really, the truth about the, this show is that we all have family. We all feel like we're part of this family. You actually left your daughter to us on this show, right? <laughs> yes. associate, she's now associate producer, Molly Palmer, and we just love her. Oh I just got to work with her. She's fantastic. She was born on this show in 1982. Not literally on the show, <laughs> but I was doing the program, and we day after day, Brian and Jane would say, we're going to have a little update, any news on the birth? And it was day after day, there was no news, no news, no news. And finally, our... Uh, our, our producer, uh, Steve Friedman, suggested to Brian and Jane, stop bringing that up. It might not, <laughs> might not oh, have a happy ending, here. but it did. And then she yeah. was born on December 10th, and now she's proudly with the Today Show on the West Coast. When she told she wanted to have a happy ending, here. but it did. And then she yeah. was born on December 10th, and now she's proudly with the Today Show on the West Coast. When she told you she wanted to do this, did you try to discourage her? No, I encouraged her. <laughs> there you go. Well, it's great to have you all here. Thank you, Natalie. Thanks so much for joining us and for being here and for all of your hard work here on this broadcast, Informing That's America. Right. Meanwhile, coming, coming up, we've got a tribute to the first women of today. You've heard them called the Today Girls. That's what they were then. They'll be here next, right after this. And, well, just good luck. That's all I can say. Well, I'll call. From the front rows of fashion to the front lines of the Middle East, you can trust the New York Times to deliver the highest standard of reporting from the world's finest journalists. So become a digital subscriber and get unlimited access to The Times. Act now and get your first four weeks for just 99 cents. A digital subscription gives you the full experience, all the videos, multimedia, blogs, and breaking stories. 24 Somehow we ended up on the stage with Stevie Wonder as his backup singers for this brand new song. It was about the worst thing I've ever done on television. It was so wrong. We do bar mitzvahs too. Voulez-vous? We started many of the traditions the program has now. One of them being Halloween. And those long legs came out of the limousine. Suddenly this emergence and oh my gosh, it was Matt. He has guts, doesn't he? Matt, there's something very wrong and he's obviously been in a dress before. He's from a there's so many people who work on that show. They're the doggone this most wonderful bunch that I've ever worked with. The crew was an integral part of the program. This staff is so incredibly talented. And I think it's one of the things that's made this show great over the years. And here to help us celebrate our two former Today hosts. It was sort of this, 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 this readjust, and I think the show got much more serious sure. then, and it's lightened up in the 10 uh -huh. years since. We didn't have the Kardashians, but we had the Gabors. Uh-huh. Yeah. They were, you're right. That yeah, family kept absolutely. us hooked on their shenanigans, yeah, didn't they? Absolutely. I'm yeah. sure they were on the Today Show uh -huh. as well. <laughs> How did it change you personally and your life and career to have been on the Today mm -hmm. Show? You were here before Deborah, so tell us. Well, I, I think, you know, I was a Broadway performer, mm -hmm. and because of that,
of that, I started doing the Jack Parr show, and then they asked me to come and do the wow. Today Show. I was thrilled. Yeah. Because did it, it require a move from California to New York, or were you New York? -based? No, I lived in New York okay. then, mm -hmm. and uh, and I did the show for a year. I got pregnant on the show. Mm -hmm. Was Not that on Jerry? the show? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> Dave Garraway wasn't that cute. <laughs> but <laughs> and, and uh, Florence knows her men. Yes, yeah, she does. Read her on a biography. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but the, but the thing is, you know, uh, being pregnant. I couldn't even say that you word. You couldn't say the word, much no. less. Did you have to hide your pregnancy? Oh, yeah, and I sang on the show, and they'd hide me and say that you word. You couldn't say the word, much no. less. Did you have to hide your pregnancy? Oh, yeah, and I sang on the show, and they'd hide me behind a potted palm or a piece of furniture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. That, that's well, a good way that we've changed, right? Well, now a, a prerequisite almost for a newscaster is to get pregnant and have the baby on the air. <laughs> on the air. Right yeah. when you need to sign your contract. Exactly. exactly. You know, it's so interesting how that that aspect of, of being on a morning show has changed. When I got pregnant when I was, I was on the Today Show. Also with Jerry. Uh, <laughs> the press reported that it was the to Andy save my job. Oh, right. It was yeah. to right. enhance my position here at NBC. Yeah. And Rico, and it's it's just very interesting how the idea of being a working mom has, has morphed so much. And really, I think it's been reflected in, in this particular show. How has it been seeing everybody again? Because everyone's... Today has yeah, been great. What was it like? It's a good time. Somebody said it was like a college reunion, and I think it's more like a high school reunion. Yes. Those yes. are the people you wanted to see. Yeah. A lot of that behavior. reunion you do see. <laughs> yeah. a high school reunion you want to yeah. see. And, and you know, if you've heard the buzz in the background, be like, oh, tell me about your kids, who's in college, yeah. where, oh my God, you're a grandparent. Yeah. There's yeah. been all of that sort of catch up sort of thing. And I think, be like, oh, tell me about your kids, who's in college, where, oh my God, you're a grandparent. There's been all of that sort of catch up sort of thing. And I think that that's what the audience would have loved sure. to have been in on, frankly, but yes, as, yeah. as you know, they've grown up with oh, all yeah. of us on this show, well, and they're yeah. curious to know that the baby I left the show having just had is now a junior in college. Wow. Right. Oh my God, yeah. where did the time yeah. go? Yeah. How about Seeing that? Hugh Downs, yes. uh, knowing that he flew here by himself, at, wow. and we share the same birthday, yeah. wow. and he's uh, going to be 91, I think. Wow. And You're going to be 26. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going backwards. No, I'm the double seven. Uh, but I was telling you, I have a sister 10 years older than I am. She can put you to shame with the hula hoop. Oh yeah, bring it on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, if we only yeah. have more than five seconds, I can yeah. say that. Thanks so much. We'll be back with more after this. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, here's Jim. Meet Lafayette. We asked him to be part of an experiment to prove that Febreze air effects can eliminate tough cooking odors. Take a deep breath and then tell me what you smell. Wow. It takes you kind of to like an island, like a paradise. Vanilla. Right in your own home. In our house. It basically yeah. turns your home into an H&R Block office. Introducing Block Live. Yeah. Welcome to Block Live, sir. Thank you. Did you have any other jobs this year? A new service that allows you to video conference with a tax professional who will prepare and file your taxes for you. H&R Block. Never settle for less. We're having a hula hoop, hoop off. Ready? Go. Go, Florence. Go. Come go on, Deborah. Deborah. We're back with our cutest pet contest. <laughs> That's coming up at Ends of Midnight. Flo! Flo! That's Flo You can Ryder. go to KLGNHoda.com. Go. Only go, go once. Yes, We're Flo. going to bring the five oh, winners to New York for a pet fashion show next week. Who knew Flo It's Flo a good dinner. day for women over 60. Who knew Flo had a dinner? Yeah, over 60. Yeah. Flo Ryder. All right. Oh. Check out the website. If you're looking for dinnertime value, look no further than Little Caesars. Because a large, hot and ready pizza is just five bucks. And it's ready whenever you walk in.